installation of a radio aftermarket on a 2006 Ford Expedition. First step to do is to remove this panel. All that's holding this together is a couple of bolts that go right there, a couple of screws. It's a pretty simple step to remove that. Once we remove that, obviously that's what it's going to look like without anything on it. Okay, there's the radio. And the only thing that's really holding the radio down is a couple of screws at the bottom. There they are. Okay. Uh, once you remove the radio in the back, obviously you're going to disconnect all the wires. Once you disconnect the wires, the fun part begins, which is actually putting the wires together. There's a couple of harnesses that you're going to need in order to get this setup going. Uh, just want to show you what the radio looks like. So basically, this is going to be the radio. It's going to be a Pioneer AVH X2800 BS. This is going to be um, the actual part number that you're going to need for the Metra installation kit. That's where the radio is going to fit to 955026. If you want to retain the rear DVD, if you happen to have rear DVD, you're also going to need this Metra kit. It's called the 705520. It's a DVD retention kit. That's what's going to retain your DVD in the back. You're also going to need something from Crutchfield. Um, this is actually the entire harness. Um, I'm trying to retain the steering wheel controls as well. Um, so this is going to be for your particular uh, car. Uh, it's going to be the Expedition. You can look them up on Crutchfield. They have all of them. Uh, this is going to be SWR FD60L. This basically comes with everything inside, including the antenna cable that you're going to also need. Uh, and here's the actual uh, control uh, unit that's going to control the radio, the actual steering wheel controls. That's the other thing you're going to need. Um, and pretty much everything else is in here that you're going to go ahead and start splicing and putting together inside uh, the harnesses so you can retain uh, pretty much everything. And then this is the camera, um, the backup camera that came as well. Um, well, it's an extra purchase, but I really wanted this. I uh, want to see how it works. Um, the only couple of things that you're going to need to know about the vehicle itself very well um, is two things. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to know is where the parking brake cable is uh, because you're going to need to hook up. Uh, I don't see it here. I thought I had it up here. Um, the parking brake cable retention uh, to remove that. I don't, I don't know what the heck happened. Oh, there it is. I had it on the other, on the other side. Uh, this is so you don't have to use the parking brake cable uh, as the micro bypass. And then the only thing you're going to need to know is, uh, you know, where the parking brake cable is on the vehicle on the harness because you're going to hook this up. Uh, that green wire is pretty much the one that's going to be hooked up in order to tell the radio that you have the parking brake engaged in order to use a lot of the features. And then the only and then the only other thing is going to be um, uh, you're going to need to know where the reverse light is. Okay. Um, once you hook up the backup camera, because basically what's going to happen is this long wire right here is going to go all around the trim. You're going to hook it up so you can get video out of the camera. Uh, to these two, you're going to get video and audio out of them. But you're also going to need to figure out where, okay, you're going to give it power to in the back. So you're going to give it power, okay, by hooking this up, okay. Um, and you're going to need to figure out back there, once you get into the uh, trunk area, uh, where the uh, reverse light is. Because what's going to happen is you're going to want the camera to turn on when you put it in reverse. So you're going to need to follow the wiring for the uh, reverse lights and you're going to tap into the reverse light wiring in order to get this turned on okay yeah. and that's pretty much it um it's going to be an all-day installation we'll see what happens i'll give you updates once i get it all put back together okay thanks all right fellas so after pretty much three hours of chaos finally figured out what everything is it's not as easy as it looks it's not as easy as it says that's for sure uh, so pretty much everything works correctly. I've already tried the unit uh, There it is. I've already mounted uh, The dim connector on it got some instructions here on how to set up uh, That which is for the uh, steering wheel controls. It works properly uh, I've got the uh, harness right there. That's the connector for the back of the radio 
Uh, this is basically your retainer for the subwoofer, which comes with the harness uh, from uh, Crutchfield. Um, you also have the DVD retention system, which basically just retains sound. Um, and uh, it powers up the unit uh, because it adds a remote wire and a ground wire. That's 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 how you're able uh, to retain the rear DVD because the Crutchfield one actually comes with uh, this one, and apparently this one doesn't have none of those wires. See the difference? There's only four wires there. Uh, that's just the RCAs. The actual one that you have to purchase separately, uh, which is this guy right here, uh, if you could see where the RCAs are, but I just pulled them, I'm sorry, the video's kind of, those are the RCAs, that's the plug, and those are the two wires right there, okay? Uh, this is pretty simple to, to put on on the Expedition, which um, I'm glad I don't have the CAN system. It's apparently the CAN bus system is a little different. I've taken the liberty of taking the middle console out just because um, the radio does have a USB connection on the back of it, which is this wire right here. And what I did was, is I opened up a hole on this side, uh, if you can see it right there, uh, to get it through my center console. And so what that does is it allows me to plug in a USB there and that gives me access to either update the radio, which uh, Pioneer has an update I have to download. Uh, and it also gives me the option to plug in the the, um, uh, the phone to it, which gives me the navigation and all that other good stuff that uh, the radio is capable of doing. So I'm getting ready to put all this back together. A couple of things that I did was I took the parking brake or the reverse wire Okay, which is this green one right here, and the reason why it's green is because I had a lot of it from the reverse, um, from the uh, reverse gear signal. So I took it, uh, plugged it into the reverse gear signal, which is a purple wire, and I ran it down. Okay, and then somewhere in this pillar, you have wiring, uh, which uh, it's part of the uh, vehicle. So you should be able to find the reverse wire in this in this pillar. Uh, you're just gonna have to remove this cover and find it and tap into it. I also went ahead and for the backup camera, I ran the wire. Uh, the backup camera is gonna be uh, it's gonna be a yellow wire. Should be here. Okay, that's the yellow wire. So I ran the backup camera and the microphone, which I actually installed up there. Uh, that was pretty simple. All you gotta do is take. Uh, this right here, which is the weather stripping you take the weather stripping off run it through the middle of the console into the bottom there uh, right across and then just um, run it along the side Underneath the dash into this uh, weather stripping you should be able to plug it in right there. It's pretty simple um, and the backup camera one uh, for the for the uh, for the uh, video uh, on the back of the radio you got to remember to plug this in into the video in not to the video out because if you plug it into the video out uh you're not going to see the camera uh video out is if you have an external um display that you want to display the camera on instead of on the radio uh otherwise if you do that then you're basically taking all this crap apart uh, in order to plug this back in Okay, so I'm going to put this back together, and once I put it together, I will uh, give you an update. Thanks. Okay, guys, so here's day two, and there's absolute chaos in here. I've taken the trim out to run the wire for the camera all the way through this pillar. The installation of the radio came out really neat. It's already put together. Uh, as you can see it, there it is. I'm just working on the rear end right now for that camera, and I'm also looking for... Uh, the reverse cable okay so we can get the camera um, to turn on once we put it in reverse so I'm still trying to figure that out I told you there was a ton of wire here and there it is so I gotta figure out where that goes on the back side of it the unfortunate news why I stopped was because it got dark and also because the cable well it really wasn't enough it only reached to about here uh, actually managed to get it all the way through this pillar uh, from underneath um, this back panel where the subwoofer is. Um, 
but it only reached up to here and the plan is to be able to put it right through here so I'm gonna fish hook it through here I want to come out here because there's gonna there's a trim I've already taken out as you can see it's right there that trim piece right there okay and then I want to be able to take this paneling off okay I'm gonna take all this paneling off because what I want to do is I want to hook that or I want to be able to have that wire come out through the license plate holder here uh, where the bulbs go uh, since it sit in license plate mounted um, you can see I took the license plate already off um, because that's where it's gonna mount on the license plate so the wire needs to come out through here okay and that's the easiest way so you don't have to make any holes you don't have to make anything else uh, it'll probably be the easiest way so that's the plan for today um, what I did end up buying uh, was a an extension um, so that I can hook up to that um, and be able to basically extend the cable um, so I ended up buying uh, that which I'm only going to use the yellow wire out of and this guy right here okay and all it is is an RC adapter and that should do me so hopefully by the time I'm done uh, it'll be put together and everything's working see ya. so there's the rear ca camera guys finally put together ran the wires through here like I told you back panel took me quite a long time to get it squared away but I finally did I basically have the wires going through there as you can see them uh, down this pillar all the way down through the side into the radio so what I did what I ended up doing okay so I took this panel off uh, instead of grabbing power from back here because uh, that's where the wiper motor is which I wasn't getting any out of uh, either way I ended up running a wire all the way to the front that was the only way that I could get the camera to work the camera wasn't working uh, unless it had some type of ignition um, power I took all this weather stripping off uh, and I ran the wires. You could probably still see some of them there and they just kind of go through into the radio. Uh, the radio finally works. The camera finally works. The audio controls on the steering wheel finally work. Um, it took me a little while, um, but you know, it's, uh, it's well worth it. Um, I'm happy with it. Um, it's a great radio. And uh, I listened to the... Uh, to the radio station, I can use my steering wheel controls. I can use this to change to DVD, which I have one in it. So you can see the DVD up front. Um, and I don't have to have my parking brake engaged. Hello, Excuse me, Mr. Gives you that. And then it eventually comes on. Uh, I could also do uh, Bluetooth uh, right through here. Uh, all I have to do is Bluetooth audio. And I can see uh, or I can listen to the radio uh, or, you know, Google Music. Uh, you can pretty much Bluetooth anything. Uh, Pandora or Spotify, I haven't tried them. I don't really know the, the whole deal with uh, Pandora or Spotify. If I'm able to Bluetooth, I don't really know why I need the, the apps there. But whatever, that's another another thing for another day. Uh, with AV here, I finally got the camera to work. So if you hit AV, you can do camera view to look at the camera. Uh, and there it is. Okay, that's the rear view. Um, you can turn on the camera uh, to see, auto, uh, you know, um, to see back there uh, like I just did, but it also works with the reverse. So if you're uh, listening to radio or looking at a movie or whatever, and you decide to put it in reverse, the camera turns right on. Okay, so that's another thing. And then, um, you also have on this, uh, you know, with the USB wire, you can hook it up, which I have it right here, uh, to where you get this particular setting right here called apps to work. And that's where you have navigation through the phone. Uh, it shows up on the screen. You also have uh, the calendar and you also have the weather. Uh, all you gotta do is plug in the phone and you can get all those features there so you don't have to use the phone. Um, the microphone's up there. 
Um, and I, I, you know, so far so good. There's a lot of settings, a lot of theme changes, like the radio, I have it green, so it matches with the rest of the car. Uh, but it was a really nice, clean install. Um, doesn't look too bad. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about the radio. I like the way it works. Uh, everything seems to be working properly without an issue. And uh, like I said, the settings up here uh, just gives you, uh, a, a, you know, there's tons of settings here. Uh, that I really haven't played with. I know there's some background steam clock. I haven't played with a lot of them. Uh, the graphic the equalizer. Um, and then there's the uh, connection to the Bluetooth. The phone automatically connects to Bluetooth. As you can tell from there. If I click on that, that's actually, I can make phone calls without having to touch my phone whatsoever. And I can see my whole contact list. You can see them right there. Hey, there's Marcos. Um, so I can give him a call right from, the, from here without having to go through my phone. I don't have to touch my phone whatsoever once I get in here. So, pretty good thing. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, it was a nightmare, but it can be done.